Hey guys, John Hartley here from Max Foundry, and today we'll be taking a look at Max Buttons 1.19. Uh, this version is the latest update after the switch to WordPress 3.8. Uh, if you're on Max Buttons Pro, you can also follow along. Uh, Max Buttons Pro is on 2.3.3. So today we'll be looking at a kind of lesser known feature of Max Buttons, and that's where down here, uh, you may not have gotten quite this far down the page, but you can actually change the text and the URL through the short code. So if we have a button, uh, like this and we'll go ahead and go into this button and we'll name it um, changeable we're not gonna put anything in the URL and for a description we can just say uh, many buttons one design and for text we're just gonna replace that with placeholder and we can start to edit the look and feel of our button so font choices let's go with Verdana change font size to 24 uh, let's go with just normal shadow offset good enough for now and I'll keep everything else the the same as it is padding just like that uh, we won't change any of the default colors at the moment uh, we'll go ahead and do that later on so let's take a look at what we can do with this so we go over into our post where the button is and right here you can see I have max button ID equals six and we hop back to our button and that's what it is, ID equals six. And then for text, note I have this text right here, I've put max buttons. Uh, and that is different from placeholder, as you can see. And for URL, I've put just google.com. So we have that set and I'll update it again, just to make sure that those are saved. Save view page. And here we can see that we have max buttons and the URL is www.google.com. So right there you can see kind of how the initial setup can give you one button design uh, used many different times. So what happens if we go ahead and copy this and start filling in different things? So we have max buttons, let's say uh, Star Wars, and I, I don't know if this is an actual URL, but StarWars.com. Um, we can say Parker for WordPress 3.0 and change this to WordPress.org. And then we'll just go ahead and get rid of that third one. I don't really feel like coming up with another one. So we'll take a look now at that same page and we can see that we have all three. And all three reflect that same design and they all three link different spots. So now what happens when we change this? Let's adjust this to 28 pixels. Uh, weight, bold, font size, Georgia, or font family, I guess, Georgia. And we'll start adjusting the colors here. So let's make a red button. A little more red there. Gradient end. border, let's make it white, a little Christmassy, border shadow, we'll keep that the same. And now I'm going to copy the normal colors to hover, just like that. And for gradient end, we'll make it a little lighter. There we go. And let's change this text shadow. Uh, something closer to that red. Okay, so we have a Christmassy button now. Uh, we'll go back up to the top and click Save. Now we don't even have to change anything in what we were just doing. If we come back to our page and we refresh, now you can see that everything is again refreshed uh, with that same design, different things inside. So you can start to see how cool this would be to use if you had you know, three standard buttons designs that you'd actually want to use. Uh, but you want to have different texts throughout and link to different spots. So that's just a quick overview of how to use um, the different shortcode options. You can also add window new, uh, and that'll open to a new window or a new tab. And then nofollow equals true, which will give you the rel 
no follow attribute. So hopefully that gives you a quick overview of how to uh, achieve one button design over many different buttons, um, being able to change that text. And again, don't worry about what's in this text box right here or what the URL is. Uh, the short code will be taken care of through the Max Buttons plugin. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm John Hartley.